This is Gerald W. Brewster, and let's continue about uh, welding machines. I'm old enough that I know a lot of things about welding machines that you guys being young do not know. All you hear is this Lincoln Miller thing. Let me tell you a little bit about the Lincoln brothers. The Lincoln brothers were born again Christians. Their father was a preacher. They were serious Christians. And uh, John was the oldest, and John became more the inventor. They were both electrical engineers. And he first had an invention, I forget what it was, it may have been a generator, but eventually got into making welding machines. His brother joined him, and the brother had more of a penchant for running a company. So that's kind of what they did. And they developed some of the earliest, best DC welders on this planet. And for years, you don't know this, American welders, chocolate ice cream, and Lincoln welding machine and rods built everything in this world just about. Um, Overseas jobs were American welders when I was younger. Pretty much not so much anymore. But Lincoln welding machines were really good machines. They've been around forever. That's why they're still here being built. What we call the short hoods or the pre-red face machines. The snout sticks out a lot further. They're shaped a little different. But just they did a really good job. Um, about 25 years after they were in business, roughly, Mr. Miller came along. He was a farmer and he wanted to be able to have a welding machine to weld his equipment and when he first started running electricity out to farms the guy at the tail end got kind of irregular voltage and things like that but he figured out a way from scrap parts to make him a 110 welder and uh, that began his career his glory days so he was more on the ac side where lincoln was dc engine driven um, in time mr miller's machines for shops particularly electric machines they kind of gained the prominence and the old Lincoln uh, electric machines I used to see on pipeline barges off in the Gulf of Mexico were replaced with Miller's. And in shops, you'll see a mix of Miller and Lincoln today. Uh, but I think Miller probably is preferred a little bit for that. But they always were weak in their engine driven machines. Uh, when I was younger, they wouldn't hold up. They welded like water. Uh, welders like uh, puddles, they're a little thicker. Think of making pancake batter. Too thick is not good, too water. And they were known for being in water and they wouldn't hold up. And I've actually seen inspectors when I was young, if you pulled up with a Miller weld machine, I've seen welders sent home. I saw an inspector tell a welder, we're not hiring shipyard welders here. Uh, we don't need no Miller weld machines and we don't need you. Pretty blunt, but well, that's the way it was. What happened? Well, it's a little story. And I'll tell you that in the next video.